Hey everyone, my name is Olaf, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this exact simulation in Blender. It's going to be a uh, lava simulation, and we're going to use MantaFlow, which is built into Blender. As always, it's going to be uh, quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so here we have the uh, startup file, and you can get it for free in the link in the description. So uh, we have a uh, basic glass material, both for the cube and the walls and the floor. And then we have a background image as well, which is included in the file. And then we can add the uh, inflow physics first for the uh, lava. So let's select the inflow object and then add fluid and then flow and set it to liquid and then inflow. And then let's set the sampling substeps to 4 to improve the quality of the simulation. And then we'll set the initial velocity to 0.5 on the y-axis so that it uh, flows out on the y-axis. The water will stop flowing in at one of the later frames. So let's go to frame 175 for example. And then press I to keyframe the inflow as uh, the uh, flow behavior. And then in next frame, let's set it to geometry so that the inflow stops. And then press I to keyframe. Okay, and then next we need to select the domain, which is the border of the simulation. And then set it to fluid, domain, and then set the domain type to liquid. And then let's set the resolution divisions to maybe 150 to 200, depending on how fast your computer is. And then set the time steps maximum to 10 because we have 300 frames for the simulation. And then liquid and enable diffusion as well. We're going to set it to honey. And then we're also going to um, decrease the uh, exponent value. So let's set it to 1 to make the fluid even thicker. And then set the base to uh, 3 as well. And then next we need to enable mesh so that we get an actual mesh with the simulation. And then we need to change the uh, cache type from replay to final so that we can bake the simulation. And then let's set the end frame to 300. And then before we start the bake, let's uh, save. So go to file, save as, give the file a name and you can save it wherever you want on the computer and then click bake all. And after maybe an hour of baking, we have the simulation. So um, let's save before we continue in case something crashes. Save as, click on the plus sign and then save. And let's go to objects and then add some uh, smooth shading as well. And then we can hide the inflow object because we no longer need it, as you can see. So uh, let's hide it both in the viewport and in the render. And since we now have the uh, fluid, we can add the material to the fluid. So uh, let's open a, a new window. So go to the top right corner and then drag it to open a... Uh, new window like this and then let's go into the shader editor and then click new to add a new material and then press n to remove the uh, side panel and then next we're going to move the material output node to uh, make some space for the mixed shader node so shift a and then search for mixed shader and we're going to mix the uh, principal shader with an emission node. So uh, search for emission and then connect emission to shader and then let's set the strength to 25 and make the color red. And make sure to check out Ducky3D on YouTube who gave me permission to use his node setup. I obviously had to change some of the parameters to fit the simulation but it's a really good tutorial. So um, Let's go into rendered view and then we'll shift A and next we're going to add a color ramp 
and with the color ramp we will be able to animate the transition from a uh, sort of a liquid free-flowing type of lava to a more solidified form of lava that you saw at the uh, end of the simulation so uh, let's press shift a and add a noise texture as well which we will use to uh, give a texture for the lava as you can see and we can change the values as well so I'll set the details to 16 and then I'll set the scale to 1.6 and uh, change the roughness slightly as well you can obviously play around with these values at the end of the tutorial and then I'm going to add another noise texture so press shift D to uh, duplicate and then let's connect color to a vector and then I'm going to set this one to 4D so that we can animate it over time and then I'm going to increase the scale set it to 5 probably going to uh, decrease the roughness so just play around with the values and uh, see what works then I'm also going to increase the distortion value okay so something like this and I'm also going to add a uh, mapping node and a uh, texture coordinate node even though I'm not going to make uh, much use of it in uh, this tutorial so uh, let's connect the uh, generated to vector and then vector to vector you can also play around with uh, different connections for example connecting object to vector and if you hide the overlay in the viewport you can see what it will look like in the final render okay and then next we need to add another node so uh, let's save before we continue click on the plus sign and then save and then drag these nodes and then we're going to add a uh, bump node to uh, give the illusion of uh, shadows on the uh, lava texture so uh, connect normal to normal so something like this and uh, then we can also play around with the uh, parameters in the uh, principal shader node so I'm going to uh, set the roughness to 1 and then the metallic value to 1 as well adjusting the alpha value also makes a difference so uh, just play around with the alpha value until you have a result that you like and then we can uh, change the uh, position on the color ramp to animate the transition from uh, liquid uh, lava to a more solidified form of uh, lava so uh, let's start off around here and there is I to keyframe the position and then we can go to the last frame and change the position so that it becomes more solidified so something like this for example and then press I to keyframe and then press T to change the uh, keyframe interpolation to linear and as you can see we have a transition from a uh, more liquid form of lava to a more solidified form of uh, lava so let's save before we continue save as click on the plus sign and then save and then let's go to the first frame and then press I to keyframe the uh, time value and then let's set it to uh, 1 once the inflow stops so press I to keyframe set the animation type to linear once again and then let's go to the last frame and then change the uh, value slightly so that we get some slight change on the fourth dimension for uh, this uh, noise texture and as you can see the texture changes 
thanks to the fourth dimension value w. And then let's save once again. And uh, now we have the texture set up, so now we can uh, get back to the viewport. And let's set up the uh, renders. Let's go to the solid view. And we already have the number of samples to 100. And the bloom value set up. And also the uh, screen space reflections. If you want the uh, bloom effect to be uh, stronger, you could, for example, change the radius of the bloom effect. So uh, for this simulation, I'm going to set it to 1, which uh, should be enough. Okay, so something like this. And then let's go to the output settings. And if you want a 1080p resolution, you can just set the percentage to 100. And if you want 4K, just set it to 200. And as for the output settings, we're just going to have a basic MP4 file. And then let's save before we continue. So, uh, file, save as, click on the plus sign and then save. And then next, we're going to uh, get a uh, folder for the uh, simulation. So we'll just save it where we want on the computer, give the uh, file a name, and then render animation. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it, and more tutorials coming soon. So uh, thank you guys for watching, and subscribe. And also a special thanks to Terry Davis, who supports the channel on Patreon.